super excited to announce my race for District 4 Montgomery County Council. On June 1st, we had 150, over 150 people join us in our virtual announcement. Um, some of the electeds that were present and supporting me, and, I, and I'm so grateful to have them there with me. Um, Council member Nancy Navarro, Gabe Albernaz, um, uh, school board member uh, Carla Silvestre, um, and some of my mentors and great friends, uh, Senator Susan Lee and Delegate Bonnie Cullison. I, I feel very, very blessed to have their support. Uh, we know that um, Council Member Navarro's legacy is going to be incredibly difficult to um, equal. I really, I, I am so, I am so honored to be and privileged to be in the position to potentially continue her her work and some of the things that she. Um, so well and, and, and successfully has done um, surrounds itself around the revitalization of Wheaton, um, her work around early childhood and care ed education. Um, the re you know we have economic development programs like the Viva White Oak uh, program, for example. And I just welcome the opportunity to take that baton and, and continue on the foundation that she has laid on. Um, you know, as as the, a proud daughter of of immigrants and a former ESOL student myself. Uh, public education is my number one priority, and I want to make sure that our teachers have the tools that they that they that they need um, as we transition out of the pandemic. We know that they have faced incredible challenges, um, and in many ways, they were the first to be in contact with our children as they came out of confinement. Beyond that, um, jobs and and um, and economic development and opportunity. Um, as a small business owner, this is a number one priority. I want to make sure that Montgomery County is attractive to, uh, you know, to innovation, young professionals, young families to continue to increase our tax base. Um, after that, we, we heard from our neighbors that we walkable communities and dedicated bike lanes are one of our number one priorities. We want our children to uh, be able to safely cross the streets. That's why Vision Zero is so important, and and I'm, I'm and I'm uh, and I'm happy to be an ally and and to continue in those efforts. Um, um, in environmental issues and transit, um, you know, my record speaks for itself. Um, I've had a 100% scorecard with the League of Conservation Voters, and I'm a proponent of mass transit as I, when I was in the legislature, I voted to fund the, the Purple Line and BRT. Um, and, you know, now I, it's, it's no different. Um, so I'm just super excited to be, um, and privileged to be in this position um, as I announce my race. Um, and I hope that folks that are inspired to join me, that, that you will do so at maricemorales.com, where you can sign up to perhaps host a meet and greet, uh, join us as we canvas through the whole, all the corners of District 4, um, and then also help me in qualifying for public finance. I do need 125 Montgomery County residents to um, contribute up to $250. That's the max um, from an individual account. It's a people power campaign. I am not receiving any contributions from corporations or, or PACs. So with that, thank you so much. And I hope you'll, you'll join my journey to victory on June 28th, 2022. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay informed on all things in Montgomery County.